long-term marriage and terminating spouse support, finalized a 2022 divorce case out of Torrance. Um, they filed property declarations, those FL-160s, with missing information. So you know I talk about how much I hate the property declarations being filed with a petition because you guys are, first of all, filling them out wrong. You're filling out the separate and community property declarations incorrect. You're not putting the proper information on there that they're needed. You're forgetting information or listing wrong information. Or by the time, you know, these 2021 divorce cases or older cases come to me, these assets no longer exist. You sold the car, closed the bank account, sold the home, you know, pension no longer exists or you're with a different company. So I know that when you do that guidance file, that it forces you to file those 160s. That's why I don't like the guidance file um, because it puts all that as part of public record. Um, but it's not a huge problem. We just have to address those assets and debts, even if they no longer exist. So if you had a car listed on there when you filed it and you don't have it, you still have to list it on your settlement agreement because they're going to match up those property declarations with the settlement agreement. Even on a default with agreement case where a settlement agreement is signed, they're still going to match up and make sure all the assets listed on the property declaration and hence the petition have been addressed. And so even if they no longer exist, you still need to list them on there and just say what happened, you know, sold or you know, no, no longer exists, or whatever the case might be. Um, so yeah, in this case, they had the property declarations. They didn't include account numbers, didn't have the license plates of, plates of vehicles and things that are required on that form and in the settlement agreement. It won't require, it won't have the judgment or won't have the property declaration reject because the court will file whatever you give them, wrong information included, but the settlement agreement needs to include that. So I have to get that from uh, my clients to address that. They are terminating uh, spouse support on long-term marriage, and you can only do that by agreement, as we talked about. So as you can see, a lot of our cases, um, there's no spouse support being involved, even with marriage of longer than 10 years, which is what a long-term marriage is. A lot of our clients are both self-supporting or, for one reason or another, do not want there to be any spouse support.